North American Motor Car presents Sierra Delta's Great Jeep Giveaway. Here now, Sierra Delta CEO, Marine, dog lover, and all around good guy, BJ Ganim. Today's Veterans Day, the day we come together as a country to celebrate and honor all who have ever served in our nation's military. At Sierra Delta, we work to ensure that all these military veterans have access to a multitude of dog therapies through our Life Buddy program. This includes service dogs. I am proud to be coming to you today from one of our premier corporate sponsors, North American Motor Car, who generously donated that one-of-a-kind 2020 Jeep Gladiator that we'll be giving away later on in this show to one of our lucky supporters. I can't think of anything more American than a good dog, a cool ride. But before we get into the good dogs and the cool rides, let's meet one of our Sierra Delta veterans in John Matter and his dog, Zool. My name is John Matter. I am from West Ellis, Wisconsin. I spent 14 years in the United States Marine Corps. I was a sniper. I have mobility problems. I was shot by face in my stomach. I also have PTSD. I have trouble sleeping. And like a lot of vets, uh, I would get up at night several times and check windows and doors. My favorite thing about Zool is in a very short amount of time that we've been together, he picks up on cues very fast. I was having a pretty bad nightmare and I woke up and he came from outside the room and he was hovering right above me with my symptoms. This is what the dog's done for me. I needed someone that when I need him, I can give him a hug and he can go play with my kids and then he can sleep at the, at the foot of my bed and, and make sure that something's washing out for me at night. We have a long time together and he's gonna be a great addition to my family. So couldn't be happier with this guy. Sierra Delta is the most positive. They want to build you up. They want to make you a more productive person. Sierra Delta is committed to making more stories like this happen. Go to SierraDelta.com and join our team as we try to pair more veterans with dogs. America is the most diverse society that has ever existed. And sometimes we have trouble agreeing with each other. But today we're gonna to focus on things that most Americans can at least get behind. Cars, dogs, and veterans. The iconic Pontiac GTO was the inspiration behind North American Motor Car. And to tell you more about that creation story, here are the co-founders, Chris Bishop and Andy Hill. I'm Chris Bishop. And I'm Andy Hill. And uh, Andy and I started uh, hanging out about 12 years ago. Uh, just like most good relationships, start out with family. Uh, Andy's son Christopher and my son Christopher did scouts together, t-ball, and uh, it grew into a great friendship and partnership. And it, we started North American Motor Car. I've always been a car lover from the time I was 16 years old and I got my first car. And here we are many years later, I acquired this 1969 GTO convertible and it was all apart. So my very good friends, myself, we were able to put the car back together. It was just a very passionate, very overwhelming task because this car needed just about everything. One day, uh, we weren't finished with the car. I hopped in the car because it was a beautiful day. There was no top, no interior. I had just the driver's seat and I'm driving it around the neighborhood and I run into Chris uh, looking at his new house. Yeah, when Andy pulled over, the, I mean, uh, in, into the driveway, the first thing I heard was the sound. Loving cars, my father had a GTO, and it's such a visceral thing to, to enjoy a vehicle, the sound, the smells. I, uh, I knew I had to have one. Uh, went on the internet, checked it out, uh, found one, uh, this particular wonderful car here. Being a passionate car lover, but not knowing what the specifics on it, uh, I asked Andy to go and, and check it out and, and it turned out quite well, right? Yeah, so this 1969 GTO Judge in palladium silver is a very rare combination and I knew right when I saw it 
that this is going to be a great car for him to get started in his car collection, his passion. And once I told him about it, he was able to acquire the car for a, a very good price. Two weeks later, it shows up at his house. I went to his house to go look at it, and you should have seen the joy on his face when that car started up, the rumble, rolling off the trailer. He was never so excited before that I've ever seen, and that's how North American Motor Car started. Here we are from one car to an inventory of 70 cars, and the best is really just yet to come. I was able to catch up with the Bishop family patriarch, Bill Bishop, founder of Blue Buffalo, Chris's dad, and former U.S. Marine. How are you, sir? Hey, I'm doing good, BJ. Belated happy birthday to you yesterday. Absolutely, thank you, you, know, you and thank Marines you for your are, service. How old AA my service was a long time ago, back in the Vietnam era. Yeah. And, you know, thank goodness my unit wasn't called up uh, to go over there. I wasn't uh, as lucky as you to well, have people you know, shoot at you. You were still willing to go, and that says a lot about you. Hey, with well, the Marine Corps is where you want to be. That's right. You know, uh, you're the same kind of guy that I am. Is that if faithful. something is going on, you want to be in the middle of it. Yes, sir. And, uh, you know, I think you've proven that over the years with what you've done. Absolutely, and it's been with a lot of help from people like you. You're, you were one of the most influential people that pushed me down this service dog route to try to figure out how to do this better for veterans. Uh, between you, Tom McCann and McCann Pets, and President George W. Bush, like you guys were my three little angels that were like, hey, go figure this out. And uh, how do you think I've done so far? Yeah, well, I think you've done great so far, but you know, just to get back to the start of the thing, you know, just to be mentioned with President Bush is a big honor for us. Tom McCann, I don't know. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, uh, you know, remember you and I met, God, must be about five years ago. That's right. uh, up in Nantucket where Holidays for Heroes went on, and uh, Holidays for Heroes would bring disabled vets onto the island right. for vacations, and you were a key speaker there. Yes, uh, sir. And uh, you started talking about what you were doing with service dogs, and uh, I had started a pet company with my boys, uh, yeah. Billy and Chris, and uh, Blue Buffalo. Yeah, it's was, a pretty good pet company. Was growing yeah. nicely yeah. at the time, <laughs> and uh, so, uh, what you talked about uh, was really a fit with, you know, how we feel about America, our vets, and our pets. That's right. And uh, so, uh, you know, when you started talking about what you wanted to do, it was like a natural that, uh, you know, I grabbed you after the uh, presentation. That's right. And we started to talk about it. That's right. And it's been a great godsend. I mean, corporate sponsors like Blue Buffalo and North American Motor Car. It's what makes this go. You know, we kill so many dogs every year that are healthy, trainable, and adoptable. And then we have all these vets, 18 million vets, and 150,000 of them need specially trained dogs. By, by taking these two populations and mixing them together with professional trainers, with support and love and rewards from their fellow citizens, the people they actually went to war for, I mean, how can we lose, right? No, I mean, you're right about that. I think the greatest thing that you did was evolve uh, Service yes. Dogs for Heroes, Sierra Delta, really into something that would incorporate all the vets That's right. who needed them. I mean, not just vets who needed a very specific dog who could pick up a credit card, who could right. answer the phone, but a companion animal who could just serve as somebody to love. That's right. And somebody that, uh, you know, he could lead again, the vet could lead again, and somebody Correct. to depend on the vet. That. Uh, for you to broaden that out, I think, was uh, really a, a, a brilliant stroke, but uh, you know, it just did so much good. Absolutely. Well, the that's the secret community. to any success, right? Is relationships, right? And we are helping to cultivate the relationship between that dog and the vet, and really helping to grow that out into the community. And, and it's working. Um, we've had 387 graduates, and we've touched over 8,000 vets in, in three years, three and a half years. Yeah, which is incredible, right. I mean, when you think about it. And, you know, like, like all good, uh, I'd say, good, whether it's a good business, whether it's a good charity, sure. it, it, it's got to be kind of a head nodder for Absolutely. people to understand. And I think what you've done is a head nodder that should get really sponsors interested uh, because obviously uh, Blue Buffalo uh, is very interested, North American Motor Car is very interested, and, uh, you know, the fact is, who doesn't want to help vets 
who doesn't want to keep dogs from being euthanized in yep. shelters? And to bring that together and, you know, have the people who keep us free exactly. and have kept us free uh, to benefit from this, uh, it's just, you know, an enormous mission and one that deserves to be supported. Bill, I can't thank you enough for your mentorship, your support, for getting us tied into Blue Buffalo. It means everything in the world to me. Thank you so much. Uh, well, BJ, uh, we've had a lot of success in the past. What you're doing now is very big, and I look forward to uh, really working with you in the future. Yes, sir, we got some big things coming. Everybody else, please meet another member of our Sierra Delta family. This is Dan Casera and his service dog, Vic. My name is Dan Casera. I ended up getting deployed in 2005, and that's where I got injured in South Baghdad, Iraq. I had an opportunity to meet the president. Actually, after getting injured, I was super excited. In those paintings, we put together a book called Portraits of Courage. All the paintings are in there with our stories. Vic here is an amazing, amazing animal in itself, smart and very strong. But the injuries that I've had from the waist below, it's allowed me to be able to use him for getting up hills. When I'm on the ground and I need you know, help, I can just say brace and then he'll firm up and it'll allow me to push off of him. In terms of just being able to have more peace about myself, Vic has definitely been that for me. And, and I'm grateful to get this beautiful dog into our home and into our family and into our lives. Hey, come on, look up, come here. Get up here, come on. Let people see you, look up. There you go, there you go, now he's in the frame. <laughs> Sierra Delta is committed to making more stories like this happen. Go to SierraDelta.com and join our team as we try to pair more veterans with dogs. Today in America, there are 18 million veterans in this country. Of with 150,000 need a public access service dog like Danny has. But currently, America only produces 1,000 public access service dogs for veterans a year. That means it's gonna take us 150 years to meet the demand. At Sierra Delta, we believe that America can do better. We created the Life Buddy program so that we can provide anything from a well-trained pet all the way up to a guide dog to every veteran that either needs or wants a dog in their life. Sierra Delta customizes the relationship between vets and dogs, just like our partners here at North American Motor Car customizes the relationship between car lovers and the car of their dreams. Here to tell you more about that is Andy Hill. We have so many great cars here at North American Motor Car. We've actually outgrown our space. Uh, we're in the process of building a new facility, 51,000 square feet, a 267 car storage facility, along with a full restoration shop, display area, and offices for our staff. But let me introduce to you this special car, which is gonna go over to our new facility, I'm sure, 2016 Porsche GT3 RS. You look at this car and it looks like just every other Porsche GT3 RS. This Porsche was custom built at the factory for rock legend Eddie Van Halen. The Van Halen logos are embossed in the sill plates and the door plates here. True, one of a kind car. Wow. 2004 Daytona 500 pace car, car number one of only three produced. In 2004, they never mass produced the, the pace cars for the general marketplace. So the Chevrolet only built three of them. Of the three, there was only two left in existence. And what makes this car so great, it was actually signed by Daytona 500 winner, Dale Earnhardt Jr. He won the 2004 Daytona 500. 1955 Pontiac Chieftain, Good Guys Award winner. Everyone thinks this car is a Chevy Bel Air, but with over 100 different body modifications, a true piece of American artwork. 2015, Shelby Super Snake. In 2015, it's reported they only made 300 Super Snakes with over 850 horsepower. What makes this car so unique is 
they only produced six super snakes in 2015 in, in a convertible. This package was $49,000 from Shelby America. 1969 Ford Torino Talladega prototype. This car, they only made two of them. Of the two, one was completely restored, one is completely original. This car, all original, never restored, produced at the Ford Dearborn X plant. This car was purchased by Banjo Matthews from Ford. We have all the documentation. This is a true one-off gem. 1933 Chevy all steel body coupe. The owner of this car is actually our mechanic here at North American Motor Car. His father bought this car in 1957. Him and his uncle fixed it up, restored it, drove it to high school. It was actually featured in four hot rod magazines in the 60s. Ted then was given the car when he was 16 years old and he drove it to high school. It sat for 20 years after high school. He restored it back to his 1957 father's specifications and uh, Hemmings Motor News did a nice article on it. Father and son build, a lot of history on this car. Wow, what can I say about this? 1949 Merc, chop top, lead sled, dropped with numerous body modifications. You'll notice right from the front end, this front end was pieced together by three different automobiles. The side skirts were made from a 1969 Pontiac Grand Prix hood. True one-off piece of artwork featured in Northern Rodders Journal way back in the day, 2001. And finally, 1994 Chevy Lumina, Jeff Gordon car. This is a true, real deal NASCAR, authenticated by Ray Everham, complete Hendrick motor drivetrain. This car came in fourth at Daytona in 1994. You're not gonna find one of these just anywhere. Thanks to North American Motor Car, we have our own NASCAR driver, Danny Bone. I was able to catch up with Danny in St. Louis during the Worldwide Technologies race where we discussed the Sierra Delta mission and our mutual love for speed on the oval. Danny, man, thank you so much for representing Sierra Delta out there on the track. And um, how'd you get into racing in the first place? I mean, thank you first. I mean, without you guys, we wouldn't be able to do what we do, you know, racing. So um, very fortunate to have you guys on board with us. Um, great cause, great organization. Um, honestly, I'm honored to have you guys on here and anything we can do to help promote what you have going on is, is an honor for me. So um, I've been racing for 16 years, a um, little late in my career to get into the NASCAR truck series, but um, you know, it's not the easiest thing in the world to get into. Um, so just kept plugging away and plugging away and kept racing and kept trying to win races and meet people. and. You know, it's better late than ever, they say. So, um, like I said, very fortunate to, to be representing you guys. Very fortunate for the opportunity with On Point Motorsports to, to drive the number 30 truck. And, you know, I got uh, nothing, to, nothing to lose and everything to gain. So we're going to go out there and, and get her done. And North American Motor Car is a big sponsor of us, a big sponsor of you, too. And they've been phenomenal. They're the ones that got us that Jeep Gladiator, that 2020 Jeep Gladiator Rubicon. Uh, launch edition, um, fantastic vehicle, completely tricked out. Check it out at SierraDelta.com. A lot of our vets, you've met some of them here today with their service dogs. They're really into uh, racing. And, and what is it like to answer the questions for these men and women that, are, like meeting you is like you know meeting Roger Staubach for a football fan. Right? <laughs> I don't know if I can go that far, but. No, I mean, like I said, to have you guys here and the, and the, the dog and, and to be able to represent you guys, like you, you guys sacrifice a lot more than we have, you know, to, to, to allow us to do this stuff. So, you know, like I said, representing you guys is an honor for me and um, anything we can do to help, you know, and help promote you guys and, and, and this Jeep that you can win by making a, a donation to your organization. I mean, the, the Jeep's awesome, you know. I, I wish I could win it, you know, but, but unfortunately that wouldn't go too well. But, um, you know, like I said, it's, it's a great organization. North American Motor Cars put an awesome vehicle together, you know, to, to give away November 11th, um, Veterans Day. So 
um, you know, all the proceeds will go to Sierra Delta. And, um, you know, what, what better way to support you guys than and to get a chance to win this That's Jeep. Right. So. And there's multiple ways you can help Sierra Delta. You can go to Rook's Place, right? It's our online pet store. 100% of the proceeds go to Sierra Delta as well. Get anything you need for your pet in two days or less. Uh, you know, you can go to the website. You can make a straight donation. You can support our corporate sponsors, Blue Buffalo. You'll see us in Walmart in November. And um, we'll have big end caps of Blue Buffalo dog food with a dollar for each bag sold going to Sierra Delta to help more veterans get access to service dogs. Danny, I can't thank you enough for representing us, and I hope you take the checkered flag tomorrow. Thank you. That, that's the plan. That was a great road trip because we also got to hang out with another one of our Sierra Delta veterans who you get to meet next. Take a look at Lee Otto and his dog, Sage, while I figure out how to make off with this 1963 split window fuel injected Corvette. Uh, I need the keys, guys. This doesn't have a push button like the like the Jeep does. How does this work? Come on. I served in the United States Army as 11 Bravo, which is infantry medically retired. Sage is both a life buddy and a service dog, a canine that I can rely on almost like a battle buddy. He relies on me and I rely on him. It is giving me a purpose. Again, there's a time for play, there's a time for training, and there's a time for just bonding. So he's training with me and I'm training with him. You wake up every day now and you have a task, you have a purpose. Make sure that that dog stays sharp, well educated and trained. You have a chance to have purpose again. He's been there for my PTSD, my TBI. He's also there to help me through the tough times when I need to shift my focus on my service dog and not what's going on around me. This is my daughter, Sophia. So Sophia, what do you think of Sage? He's there for both of us. So she's been able to go on walks with us and we make it a family now. It's gonna be me, Sage, and my daughter, Sophia. The community of Sierra Delta has created new battle buddies. We all have a connection that has been refreshing. Sierra Delta is committed to making more stories like this happen. Go to sierradelta.com and join our team as we try to pair more veterans with dogs. I'm here with one of our graduates, one of our service members, a member of our tribe, if you will, Lee Otto and his dog, Sage. We're here in St. Louis attending the Worldwide Technologies Gateway Race, where IndyCar and NASCAR are both racing this weekend. And this is your first NASCAR race, is it not, Lee? It is my very first NASCAR race. Awesome. What do you think so far? It's pretty noisy, huh? Oh my god, it's amazing. <laughs> All the people, the noise, the talking to people talking to about our what we're doing here yeah. about my dog the attention it's amazing awesome and look at sage is really enjoying it taking a nap as the race is happening already tired. <laughs> and he's been a big hit today as we've been talking to all these people and you know let's just tell everybody else kind of what you think about what we do at sierra delta and how you think it works and, and how it's helped you in, in your life well first of all i wouldn't even be here at this race if it wasn't for sierra delta and the service dog uh, just because of the amount of people uh, the anxiety that is already built up coming to a big event with crowds so because of Sierra Delta and because of the training and because of my dog I'm able to be here today and able to feel comfortable being here with other veterans and I feel safe secure I feel like I got a team that is you know backing me up so I can tell other people about my experience with Sierra Delta yeah, and that's what it's all about. I mean, when we get out of the military, you know, we miss that connection. We don't miss so much the job we were doing, right? I mean, yeah, we love that, but mostly it's that connection because you get closer with people than ever before. And that's where I saw the service dog could really help veterans reestablish that fire team again. 
you know, so they have a base to work with because that was the thing that we always had in the military. You always had a bunk mate, a battle buddy, you know, a fire team member, squad leader. And so, and that's what's critical. What do you think about the network that we're building of veterans and centering around dogs? So the network that we've, that you have created and that I've become, become a part of, it's like, it feels like a family, a, a close family. It's like instantaneous, we have a connection. Whether it's where we were, what we did, um, now that we even have a connection because of what we're doing at Sierra Delta, the dogs, what we're, what we're, just the fun times that we're having, like dinner last night, talking and just chatting about stories or laughing together again. It's been a long time to just, it's not like regular you can go talk to somebody and the jokes that we get as a military connection is just, that, that's what makes it fun again. Right. Yeah, you know, and uh, what do you think, like, so you're, you're an ambassador now, you're one of our first, you're, you're testing it out, and what do you think, like, when we ask veterans to, to showcase what they're doing with their training or to volunteer for community service or to go speak to schools and, and whatnot, and we give them points for that, and that's how you end up at these great events and stuff. You think that's a good thing, or you think that we should just give it away for free? I absolutely think we should earn it. Yeah. Um, it feels like you're part of something again. You have a purpose. Yes. So, yeah. and it's like, okay, cool, if I do this, I get to go do this, and I get to meet more veterans right. and spread more word about what we're right. doing. Exactly. And have fun at the same time. Right. So it doesn't come as a handout. It doesn't, because I feel like I've already received such an amazing gift and a blessing, and I feel like I want to give back. And by giving back and explaining what I did, I'm also getting an award by being here and having fun. Absolutely. That's and it, and it, it feels like an accomplishment again. But it is. I mean, look at all the people we talk to here. And, and every person you talk to, you feel like, I just spread something great. Yeah. I just get put at the seed in somebody else's head right. and they're going to go talk yeah. to somebody else. Absolutely. And that's amazing. Yeah. And then you can see it in their eyes that they're getting excited about it. They're going to go home and tell their dad, their brother, their right. son or sister or brother, whatever it is. And they're going to go tell them what we're doing and then we're going to get it even more. That's right. And you make new friends and you meet new people and you grow. That networking is so important. And that's, you know, it's not only just getting a service dog. We want to really build that community and allow you to network and allow you to grow more as a veteran. Like we had leadership training in the military when we are active duty. We need leadership training as veterans too. And so we, we sit around dogs and then we, but we also branch out to that. Sierra Delta has the ability to invest in veterans like Lee and his dog Sage through our many corporate partnerships. Luckily for me, I'm really good friends with one of the CEOs and founders of one of our premier corporate sponsors, North American Motor Car. My friend Chris Bishop, I can't thank you enough for making this Jeep giveaway possible. Uh, BJ, it's our pleasure. Uh, growing up, veterans have always been a very important part of my life. Uh, my grandfather was a, a, a Marine, my father was a Marine, and uh, it's always always been important for us to not only recognize how the service that they've given to us and the freedoms they allowed us, and it's important to give back. Yeah, absolutely, and I can't think of anything more freeing than just the image of Route 66 and just bombing down the American highway, wind in your hair, radio blasting, and that's what you do, right? Exactly. North American Motor Car, you guys, make automotive dreams come true. How, how, just how good does that make you feel? Uh, it feels wonderful. I mean, the visceral feel of the sound of the exhaust, um, and just to your point of just the, it's true, a freedom, a freeing experience. And in the, today's society with all the negativity out there, it's such a positive experience that you can share with friends and yeah, family. Absolutely. And one of the things we, we do for a lot of our customers is help them find their car of their dreams. Or in the future, we're going to be able to uh, store cars. We're going to be able to build cars. Where there's a lot of things yeah. that we can do. And as we grow as a company, we're going to continue to support Sierra Delta. Well, we've seen how good you can build a car because all the the extras on that Jeep Gladiator, it's all by you guys. And your crew did an amazing job. When I first saw it in St. Louis, when I was down there for that race, I. I just, I, I have to get one. You know I'm oh. going to put an order in. Oh, right? exactly. Because <laughs> exactly. I know I can't win, 
right? We'll but, take uh, care of it for you, of course. No doubt. No uh, doubt. I think that's one thing our team, just incredible uh, amount of automotive years under their belt, yeah. but just wonderful people. Also, we're all on the same page of loving our veterans and giving back. Yeah, and I mean, every veteran ever met, they love two things. They love, well, actually three. You know, they love cars, dogs, and they love guns most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> well, all very important all freedoms very, that, yeah. that we enjoy. Absolutely, um, and it's been so amazing that Sierra Delta, we're so excited that through partnerships with North American Motor Car, we're gonna be able to help more veterans and more dogs find their way home together than has ever been attempted before in the history of dogs and vets. Like, that's pretty crazy, right? I think that's wonderful. Right. At, at, at uh, North American Motor Car, we always want to take whatever we do to the next level. Right. And I think that's one thing that we definitely align with, uh, with uh, Sierra Delta. We want to do the best, better than anybody else. And I think you guys do it. And Andy's going to show you a, this spectacular GTO. This has such a phenomenal, inspirational story. You're going to love it. I'll give you a hint. It involves a one-of-one one GTO for a Vietnam vet. Check it out next. I'm very excited to talk to you today about this 1970 GTO Judge convertible. This GTO Judge was specially ordered by a Vietnam vet who was injured in combat. He ordered it February 14, 1970 on Valentine's Day. What makes this car so special is he was a double amputee. He lost his legs in combat, and in order for him to move around, he, he had the use of a wheelchair. So when he purchased this vehicle, he wanted every conceivable option. What makes this car so special is in 1970, they only produced 168 GTO Judge convertibles, and this car is only one of two in triple black. And when I say triple black, that means the exterior is black, the interior is black, and the convertible top is black. And of the two that they produced in triple black, this car has the most options. It has over 13 factory options. And that includes air conditioning in a convertible, which was very rare back in the day, power windows, power steering, power brakes, a reclining passenger seat, an eight track tape player. You had to have your tunes back in the day. Along with this car, the dealer installed hand controls on the car so that way the Vietnam vet could drive this car with the use of his hands. And we have his original dealer invoice that states that he paid the dealership $125 to install those hand controls in this car so it would make it easier for him to drive, and so he could drive it being a double amputee. This is truly one remarkable GTO Judge convertible. Which brings us to the main event, the 2020 Jeep Rubicon Gladiator, generously donated and tricked out by North American Motor Car. Here's Andy Hill to show you bumper to bumper what you very well may win. This 2020 Jeep Gladiator Rubicon Launch Edition. The Launch Edition is special because they only made 4,190 Launch Edition Gladiators in the model year 2020. That makes this truck even more special. I'd like to focus on all the many details that we've added to this truck to make it so special. 35 inch Falcon tires, 18 inch Rockstar 2 Gen wheels. And if you'll notice, the centerpiece is custom wrapped by our friends at VRD Customs in Danbury, Connecticut, who also did this beautiful American flag wrap on this 2020 Jeep Gladiator Rubicon. And to top it off, our custom interior and audio division added some amp remote steps to this baby so you can get in and out with plenty of ease. This truck is featured with every conceivable option that Jeep offers for the 2020 model year Jeep Gladiator. Custom leather interior, automatic power steering, power brakes, air conditioning, power windows, navigation, front and rear locking differentials for all your off-road fun, front trail camera, rear backup camera, three-piece freedom top, 
that's color coded and painted to match the truck. This Jeep has everything. Andy, tell them about the winch. Ted, you're right. Worn 9,000 pound Rubicon winch will pull you out of any situation you're in. And around back, we have our Jeep soft open tailgate. Yakima basket, Yakima HD bars from our friends at Yakima. Our friends at Truck Cover USA provided us with this hard shell pickup bed cover. Built Right Industries supplied the rack system for the inside of the beds, which holds all our tools, portable gas can, tow strap, and high lift jack. On road, off road, anywhere. Now for some housekeeping. This sweepstakes is run by Rally Up. They are a professional third party organization that specializes in putting on sweepstakes for nonprofits. To learn more and to get the official rules, please visit rallyup.com. Now, before we announce the winner, I'd like to introduce you to one more special veteran in our Sierra Delta family. Here is Stephanie Marvin Miller and her service dog, Leland. I never thought that I would have a bright future again and now that I have Leland, I'm a superwoman. My name is Stephanie Marvin Miller and I was private first class in the Tennessee Army National Guard. In January of 2016, I'd been serving for about three and a half years when I was a victim of a violent sexual assault by another service member. I was diagnosed with PTSD and a TBI afterwards as an effect of the assault. And the PTSD for me specifically means headaches, balance issues, nightmares. It cost me everything. It cost me a sense of normalcy. There was little joy, there was little hope. So this is Leland. He's a public access service dog. I was rejected by 11 different service dog organizations because my PTSD stemmed from sexual assault and not from combat. When I applied through Sierra Delta, within 100 days, I got my dog in my arms. My future before Leland was not a future that I even thought about. It wasn't even in existence. My future after Leland means that I get to have the huge house full of kids. I get to be married. It's all mine again. You are such a mush. Sierra Delta is committed to making more stories like this happen. Go to SierraDelta.com and join our team as we try to pair more veterans with dogs. Here at North American Motor Car, they can not only make your automotive dreams come true, they can make your motorcycle dreams come true. Ain't that right, Chris? Yes, sir. Hey, man, I can't thank you and your team here at North American Motor Car enough for making this giveaway possible for our vets and everything that we support at Sierra Delta. Uh, BJ, it's our pleasure. You know we love our veterans. I actually have the name right here. Let's give this beast away. Oh, man, I can't wait. This is going to be amazing. We're going to make somebody's dream come true. But I'm not going to read the name. The face of North American Motor Car Racing, Danny Bone is going to have that honor, that privilege. Here you go, sir. Danny. My pleasure. Yes, sir. But first, it has been an absolute privilege to drive for the men and women of Sierra Delta and North American Motor Car. So I would like to give you this signed North American wow. Motor Car fire suit to give to a lucky supporter of yours. That is amazing. Hey, go to SierraDelta.com. Andy, do you mind holding on for that? Go to SierraDelta.com, sign up for our newsletter. You'll learn how you can win this valuable piece of NASCAR memorabilia from a future NASCAR legend. Now, we're here to win this. Somebody out there is waiting on pins and needles, so let's not tease them anymore. Are you ready? I'm ready. You guys yeah. ready? We're, we're ready. ready. Let's do yeah, this. Yeah, let's do this. All right. Who is it? Who is it? The winner is Brendan McCarthy. Brendan McCarthy. Cleveland, Ohio. Okay. Okay.
work, man. Good work. That was great. If you love this country, if you love what we're doing, go to SierraDelta.com. Donate what you can to help Sierra Delta's mission of helping veterans and dogs find their way home together.